Renee paid $195 for an item that was originally priced at $480. What percent of the original price did Renee pay? And we're asked to round to one decimal place. To determine the percent paid, we want to answer the question, 195 is what percent of 480? There are several ways to answer this question. We'll talk about the more formal ways using the percent equation and percent proportion in just a moment. But if we can represent the amount paid as a fraction, comparing the part of the whole, we can convert that fraction to a decimal and then to a percent. So because she paid $195 out of 480, the fraction would be 195 480ths. And now we can convert this to a decimal and then a percentage. Let's do this on the calculator. 195 divided by 480 is equal to this decimal. To convert the decimal to a percentage, we multiply by 100 and add a percent sign. So times 100, enter, to one decimal place, this would be approximately 40.6%. So this is probably the quickest way to answer this question. Let's also answer it more formally though, using the percent equation and the percent proportion. To use the percent equation, we use these keywords here to help us set up the equation, where is means equals, of means multiplication, and what represents the unknown, so we write down a variable. So referring back to our question, we have 195 is, which means 195 equals, and then we have what percent, which represents the unknown, which in this case is going to be a percent. Let's use the variable p, and then we have of 480, so we have times 480. So simplifying, we have 195 is equal to 480 p, and now we divide both sides by 480, Simplifying here, we just have P. On the left side, notice how this quotient here is the same quotient from above, so we know we're going to get the same percentage. But let's go ahead and do this again. We already know the decimal value of 195 divided by 480. If we were going to round this, because we went the percent to one decimal place, we'd have to run the decimal to three decimal places, which would be approximately 0 0.406. So in the equation, P is approximately 0 0.406, which we then convert to a percentage. So moving the decimal point to the right two places and adding a percent sign, of course we still get 40.6%. Run it in one decimal place. And then finally for the percent proportion, we have two ratios equal to each other, where here the denominator is always 100. And because we're trying to find the percent, and a percent is a number compared to 100. The unknown is going to be this numerator, so we'll use P. And then for this ratio here, we can also use keywords. We can think of the ratio as is over of. So looking at our question, because it says 195 is, 195 goes on top, and because it says of 480, 480 goes on the bottom. So this ratio is the part to the whole, or the part paid, to the original price. And now we cross multiply and solve for P. 480 times P must equal 195 times 100. So 480P equals 19,500. Divide both sides by 480. So we get P is going to be approximately equal to this quotient, 19,500 divided by 480. Enter, which is approximately 40.6, which notice is the number compared to 100, and therefore our percent is approximately 40.6%. I hope you found this helpful.